Hello and welcome to the third episode of Simple Science That You Can Do At Home. Today we're going to be making clean putty. We are living in a time where washing your hands is extra important, so I thought it would be fun to do science using soap. The putty that we'll be making today, you can just use household items in order to make. And a matter of fact, it only really takes two ingredients. But there's four things that you'll need. One is a bowl. Two, a spoon. Three, some type of dish soap. The color doesn't matter. That will just say what color your putty's gonna be. And four, cornstarch. For today's putty, we're gonna be using two tablespoons of cornstarch and one and a half tablespoons of soap. Now you don't have to be exact because you can add more of either ingredient as you need to as you're making your putty. So let's get started. So I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, my one and a half tablespoons of dish soap. And now comes the messy part. We're gonna mix it together. And as we're mixing it together, we can start seeing it starting to form a little bit more of a putty consistency. Now in a minute, we may actually need to mix with our hands. I always like to start off with a spoon first, wait till later to use my hands. That way I don't get quite as sticky. So let's mix it together. actually very very messy and so as you're mixing you're going to get your hands dirty one thing about it is is that no matter how dirty your hands get ultimately all you've made is just really thick soap so when you wash your hands it'll just be like soap now my putty right now is pretty thick and I'm wanting to thin it up just a little bit so let's say I wanted my putty thicker I could add more cornstarch but since my putty's pretty thick now, I'm gonna add a little bit more soap to try to make it a little less thick and just a little more mushy. Now, if you want your putty to feel more like, just like silly putty or something, add more cornstarch, it'll be less sticky. If you want your putty to be more flowable and more like a, a slime, just add more soap. And so when you get done, you will definitely have sticky, messy hands. No, getting messy was a lot of fun, but we do need to learn some science in all this. Our putty, like Ublick, is a non-Newtonian substance. That means it's neither a solid or a liquid. And some of you may be thinking, Mr. Turner, what does that mean? Well, let me tell you, this rock, hey man, what are you staring at? Is a solid, it's hard. If you drop it, you throw it against something, it's gonna stay the same. And this water, I just like to go with the flow. It's not like the rock, if you throw it or drop it, it's gonna flow out everywhere. Now there was a guy named Newton. And Newton looked at water and he said, water is the perfect liquid. And what that means is that water, basically with its molecules, can be, can be like made in just layers. You can think of it as layers. And those layers freely slide on themselves. And so whenever you pour water out, it just flows out and gets bigger. It doesn't stay in one clump. Uh, if you take a rock and you drop it on the ground, what happens? Does it flow? No, it's either A, just gonna bounce off the ground, or it's going to break. Our non-Newtonian substance, our putty, it changes viscosity as we play with it. Now you say, what is viscosity? Viscosity is the state of being thick or semi-fluid. This putty is neither a solid or a liquid. It's a non-Newtonian substance. Cool thing about non-Newtonian substances is that when you apply more pressure or more speed or force, they change viscosity, they get harder. Now the putty's a little different because if I don't apply very much force and I just pull on it slowly, it stretches, almost like it's made out of rubber. But if I apply faster force to it, the putty no longer stretches, it just breaks. The viscosity has changed. Also, if I take my putty and I push on it, if I push slowly, my hands easily go down. But if I take my putty and I push faster on it, it's almost like it's more solid. It changes with the force. This is because of the cornstarch. The cornstarch inside of this putty acts kind of like snow in front of a snowplow. You can see it, it's layered up like this, but when the snowplow hits it, it just pushes it and shoves it up and makes it into a big pile. The cornstarch in this, by pushing quickly on it, it kind of bunches up and it makes it feel more solid and it traps the soap in between the layers of cornstarch. By moving slow, it has time to get the soap out of the way, but by moving fast, it's all bunched up and it's more like a solid. So go out there, have a good time making some putty, and remember just a few things. One, 
you're probably gonna have to add a little bit more cornstarch or soap to get the desired effect of your putty. I've had to change my recipe almost every single time I've done it. I started with the first recipe of two tablespoons of cornstarch and one and a half tablespoons of, of soap, but by the end I've had to add either more of one of the other. It's changed every single time. I'm really not sure why. But you don't want to do this over like carpet, it's something that would be hard to clean. So like your kitchen countertop or even do this outside. And you can even try to make larger batches. This is really fun stuff to play with. And at the end of the day, it's just like you washed your hands.